In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my new favorite play in Madden. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what I do here, what we do here is very simple. We do our best to help you get better at Madden, whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball. The whole purpose of our channel is to try to help you get better, to give you the tools that you need to be effective. And so we do that in a variety of ways. One of the ways that we do that is through uploading daily tips and tricks on our YouTube channel. And we actually upload four tips and tricks videos every single day. They release at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock every single day on YouTube. And then we also stream every single night on YouTube at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And we basically answer your questions live and play Madden with subscribers. That's pretty much what we do here. Um, I'm going to talk to you about some other stuff that we do that can help you get better as well. But I want to show you this really, really good play out of the New England Patriots offensive ebook. So if you haven't picked up the ebook yet, you can pick it up in the description. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, and research shows that out of all of you guys that are going to watch this video, only 40% of the people are actually subscribed to me. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those tips and tricks that we release every day. All right, so the, my favorite play in Madden right now is this play, Pat Slot Out. And the reason why I like this play so much is it's so effective against strategies that a lot of players will employ, especially if they're playing zone defense as a primary base. And so this is really, really, really good for that. And the primary reason we're actually going to call this play is for that streak route on the left side of the field. Now, you'll notice that in this Patriots playbook, if I go to the play double unders, it's also a play. So I'm going to show you that as well. And I'll put that in my audible audible set here and also put um, also put halfback sluggo in there. OK, so anyways, why off trips, Pat's and we're going to go over Pat's thought out. And there's a lot of reasons that I like this play, but one of the major ones is, let me show you what this does against Cover 2 Man, okay? Now, Cover 2 Man is going to do an okay job at, at, at basically handling this, but there's a lot of things that you can do. One of the things that you can do is specifically is if you have a tight end apprentice, you could put your tight end on anything. You could leave your tight end on his route. You could put him on a crossing route. You could do a lot of things with your tight end to make this effective. What we're going to do with our running back is we're going to oftentimes put our running back on a wheel route or a flat. So he's going to wheel or, or a swing route, one of the two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to motion Godwin. And what you're going to notice here is when we motion Godwin, the corner on the left side is going to move, as you see right here. See him move? And if we do, snap the ball right here, you're going to notice that he's both receivers are going to get a free release. And I'm going to get nice inside leverage to be able to move the ball down the field against man-to-man -man coverage. Now let's say that they might be employing a strategy like a lot of people would do, like something like this right here. Okay, so they come out in cover two, right? Um, whoops, they come out in cover two, and a lot of players have actually been pressing. They've been shading their coverage underneath, not playing over top coverage lately. Uh, it's been kind of one of the meta shifts in the man coverage meta. So if I snap this ball like right here, you're going to notice that my guy is going to get a step on his guy and I can pass lead this to the outside and against cover zero, if they run cover zero, it's a one play touchdown. But the other thing that it's really cool is against cover one, it's a one play touchdown. To me, that really does make a big difference. What I want to show you here is we're going to play cover one. So I'm going to do something like this right here. This is cover one, in essence, right? The purples are shaded at 20 yards. And what you'll notice when I do this, when I motion snap Godwin, I'm going to get this free release as long as I snap the ball right there. If I see something like this, this is an automatic one-play touchdown, as you see right there. It's not just a one-play touchdown against cover, cover zero, right? There's a lot of ways to do that. But it's also a one-play touchdown against cover two, uh, or I'm sorry, cover one. Now, as far as cover two man goes, let's say that they're doing that to you. You want to get this snapped right there. But what you'll notice is against cover two man, it is kind of taken away. They Cover two man stock does give that streak some trouble, but other things become open. The middle of the field becomes open. Another thing is really quickly, if you snapped the ball like right 
here and just pass let him to the outside sometimes you'll get a back shoulder catch not always but sometimes you will get that and then one other pass lead that i do want to talk about with this route is what if you just simply tried to lob it over the top so if i waited like if i waited 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 and then now threw it over the top you see that i actually do have a chance but it's not a great look okay it's not a great look there's going to be challenges with with doing that. Um, you know, there's some other things that you could do, like you know, motioning this guy out here like this, and then you can kind of get that. You see that right there, and we're going to get into that right now. This is zone coverage, so we're going to break down some different things that you can do against zone coverage. Now, if you read zone coverage, meaning they show you that they're in zone, and the way they're going to show you when they're in zone is that when you're motioning Godwin across. The corner on the left side will kind of back, not only will he back off, but he won't press. They'll have to repress the corner. So you see here, he's pressed up. This is just zone coverage. But against zone coverage, what I like to do with this play is I really, really like this play against the zone. It's, in my opinion, elite level passing against zone coverage. Now, before we go any farther, I do want to let you know that if you want to get a free sample of my New England Patriots offensive ebook, my text message membership has a free one hour video on this specific formation. We have a one hour video breaking this down. It shows you how to one play touchdown every single defense in Madden. So if you want to pick that up, literally all you have to do is pull your cell phone out and shoot me a text message. A lot of people have asked. I do respond. It is my personal cell phone number. So it's also a great way that if you have Madden questions, if you have questions about Madden, you can always text me. And another question that I get a lot is, if I sign up for the text membership, do I get all the old videos? Yes, you get all of the old videos. And so as it sits right now, there is 11, about to be 12 schemes in our text membership that are, a lot of people have said they're ebook quality uh, schemes, meaning that I could charge for them. A lot of people would charge for them. We do that for our community completely for free. So if you want to get better at Madden, I can think of no better place to start than my text message membership. Even if you don't have a question about Madden, the schemes in it are super, super good. And of course, if you have questions, you can always ask me. So the next thing I want to do is show you this against zone. So let's talk about cover two for just a second. And really all it is, is if it's zone coverage, they'll just let him go. They'll just leave him alone. Literally zone coverage, I don't know what it is about this specific route. The yellows are not shaded down. They're not shaded down by any means. These are just standard cover two zones. And they literally just forget about him. As you see right here, I can pretty much one play cover two and cover three consistently with this route to Scotty Miller. And what you're gonna notice is this is gonna force your opponent to have to do a lot of different things to be able to, you know, to be able to be effective. Now, the best case scenario is something like that where you have to hold it for a second. If you have to hold it and you have to wait on it, that's one little thing that I would say could give this a little bit of trouble. But if on zone, you really want to let him get out there. One of the other things, though, I will say that will help your zone is you want to kind of practice your motion snapping to this because that deep half can be manipulated depending on where you snap R1. If you snap him all the way outside, then it tells the deep half that it's okay to go outside. Because this little route to Chris Godwin has a vertical stem, meaning he goes upfield and then he cuts, it actually helps the zone manipulation to snap him inside of him so that you can get that outside pass lead. And if you have Gunslinger or Pass Lead Elite, which you will need one of those two things, it becomes a very elite passing play. You might be asking, well, what about cover three? And specifically, what about cover three uh, with deep halves? You think, well, if they're running a deep half, you would think that this is going to stop. It's kind of the formula to stop a lot of the cover three bombs that you're going to face. What you're going to notice is if they run a deep half, you actually oftentimes will get over the top of the, the coverage. Now, one of the things I do want to show you is this is cover three. But we're going to flip this because normally the auto flip of a cover three would auto flip it and the safety would be on the right coming from right to left. And so when you do this, you see this right here, snap him kind of right here against cover three. And what you'll notice is this is a bomb against cover three. I mean, this is a straight up bomb. Now, Tom Brady doesn't have the arm to get it over the top. 
sometimes. Um, you really do need to make kind of a quick decision, and the Packers have the best, like for my money, the Packers have the best secondary in Madden. But I just want to show you this one more time. So this is cover three, and we're running deep halves on both of our outside corners. Both outside corners are in deep halves. Take a look at what happens here. Watch as he looks in the, you know, and if he goes back, if he, and of course I missed the read. Um, if he goes back, the post route's wide open late. So you do have an option. But the one thing I want you to see, and it doesn't have, it, a lot of it depends on where you snap your in route, to be honest, um, like a lot. So where you snap him is everything. But if you snap him in the right spot, you're going to be able to hit this. Now, if you don't snap him in the right spot, it might not come as open from a cover cover three invert perspective. We'll show you a couple of different uh, snapping, you know, kind of plays that people could do. But basically what you're looking at here, you'll see, see him move right there. Now, if I snap like right there, watch the corner on the left. I'm just going to outside pass lead it. And if I have a faster, a little bit of a faster receiver there, that's a touchdown. I'm telling you, if you went to watch the stream last night, it's darn near impossible to stop. Now, what about cover three? You're saying, well, what if they run like just standard cover three? Just standard cover three. Standard cover three on that side of the field does sometimes do okay. But here's the thing I want you to remember. They have to have the safety in the deep. If the safety doesn't go deep on that cover three side, it's not going to be open. You're going to be able to hit it. Most of the time, you're going to be able to kill cover three with something like this. You see that right there? See that little delay? And then it's literally just a lob. And if you have a fast receiver like Scotty Miller, you can get over the top of cover threes for a huge play. I can't tell you how many touchdowns I've thrown on this. And the beauty of this is you still have really good passing concepts on the backside. You can run a flat and a post route to Mike Evans. You can run the double post if you want to. You can do all of those things. That's the beauty of this play is you have one route that is really good, but now you have multiple. You see that the double post, that the post route to the tight end is going to pull stuff open for you. That's what makes this play so good. So if they, a lot of times what people will do is they'll use her the left side. If they use her the left side, you still have so many other options, like so many other options. Um, you, you can hit multiple routes. Another thing that I would recommend is let's say that you um, – let's let's do something like this. Like this right here can be super, super simple and super, super effective. Double post, like putting the tight end on a simple post route. Look at this. This post route happens to go over the top of those, of those players. So you can have – you know, you can do multiple things with this. So if I, if I were to do something like that, I might put – uh, Mike Evans on a smart route, I would always smart route him if he, if it gets him to go deeper because you want him to be deeper. But what you'll notice here is, and again, Brady, you know, forgive me for the, the practice mode, crazy sheds. I think that practice mode is absolutely ridiculous with how fast players shed. But what you'll notice here is if I late down, again, you're going to go through all your progressions, but later on in the play, now you have something really, really effective that you can get over the top of them with that tight end post route. And if you have a good route running tight end, or you can put him on a crossing route as well. So a lot of things you can do with this play. Um, the next thing I want to show you is this HB Sluggo. And this is a really, really good way that you can kind of just a counter play to it, you know, but if they're running a lot of zone on that side still you could go to something like this play and this play is super effective as long as he doesn't hit him in the back of the head you're going to be able to hit this route uh, relatively consistently all you're doing is you're putting your running back on a wheel route and you're putting your scotty miller put him on a put him on like a flat and you're going to snap him like right in here and you'll notice that against cover two um he will oftentimes get over the cover two i threw it a little bit i threw it a little bit too early there but we'll show you what I'm talking about here. So again, you do something, sim this is super, super simple, but super, super effective. Just that little hard left pass, like click on, use or catch it, and that can be a nice little one play touchdown against cover two. So, and a lot of the ways they're gonna try to stop you. So to me, 
this is a really, really powerful play. It's my favorite play in the game right now. If you have not picked up the New England ebook, link is in the description. Also, if you haven't picked up our text membership, I really would encourage you to text in. Um, whether you have Madden questions, you can text me. Or if you want to get our free stuff, we have covered high level stuff like Big Nickel over G, Carolina Bunch, Ace Slot Offset, Split Close Pats, and the U Trips, along with several other ones. So, Make sure to text in, get those videos. Thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.